Lab Talk, Lab Talk, episode 24. So you guys know I usually drop my Lab Talks on Tuesdays and Thursdays when I'm on top of my shit. But this time, being what's going on in the country, I just had to address it now, so I just did my little setup and got to record. So as you guys probably already know, there are a bunch of unruly Trump supporters that are trying to take over the Capitol building in D.C. They're destroying property. They're taking selfies in different offices that are in there. They're destroying things. They are hurting people. Um, All in the name of being an entitled, sore loser piece of shit. I will also say that an overwhelming amount of these people are white. We're going to get to the shits today. And I have a few things, obviously, to say about this. So number one, I think that it's ironic that the leader of the Republican Party told members of the Republican Party and other voters to not use absentee ballots, to not use mail-in ballots. He said that those votes would be fraudulent and that they would not be counted. And the most sure way to get your vote counted for the 2020 election, the presidential election, was to actually show up to a polling station and cast your vote in person. We also know that absentee or mail-in votes are usually counted last. So when you have an election night like we had on November 3rd or like we had last night in Georgia, the election is going to have peaks and valleys for both sides because of this huge amount of absentee or mail-in ballots. Now, A lot of Republicans are screaming voter fraud because the majority of these absentee or mail-in ballots were for the Democratic nominee in the election. Hmm. So you mean to tell me if you tell your people or your voter base to not cast a vote this way, you still expect to have an overwhelmingly amount an overwhelming amount of votes in that voting pool? Am I living in an alternative reality? Am I living in the fucking twilight zone? If you tell your voter base not to vote this way, why would you expect for you to have a lot of votes there? So the way that these elections have been playing out is... You'll have, depending on the state, of course, but you'll have usually Democrats jump out to to a lead, Republicans catch the lead, then the absentee or mail-in ballots are counted, and then the Democrats tend to take a slight lead and end up winning the election. Republicans have screened voter fraud about this. There has been multiple state Supreme Courts, let me get this right, state Supreme Courts that have shot down these lawsuits, because none of the fraud can be substantiated. I even read a court document from one of Trump's attorneys that self-admitted that they don't have any evidence. And this is why people are storming the Capitol building. Because I can't accept the fact that I fucking lost. I'm sorry, RIP Martin Luther King, but you were wrong about this one. This riot is definitely not from the voice of the unheard. I also want to talk about how these protesters, if that's what you want to call them, I'm going to call them rioters, are being treated. Now, I love the fact that all of the things that happened in 2020 weren't that long ago. So just in July, there was a Black Lives Matter rally at the Capitol building. And they put armed militia that look like army men in front of the Capitol building because Black Lives Matter protesters were approaching the building. This time, you have politicians 
that are barricading themselves in chambers with guns protecting themselves because there aren't any security around these buildings because they're not nearly as intimidated by this crowd as they were by the BLM crowd. As well, they're not being met with the same aggression. Sorry to point out to you guys that I'm black, but fucking that's what all of this is. Pointing out the the disparities between how people are treated in this country. So I say all that to say, keep your eyes open and realize what's going on around you and take precautions where you need to take precautions. And also be aware of who the fuck is in your friend circle and who the fuck is in your acquaintance circle. I want to make no mistake. These people are not rioting for any reasons that are just. Not even close. BLM and so many other organizations that fight on behalf of rights for black and brown people are fighting for disparities that have that are well documented and that are historical facts in this country that have taken place for over 290 years. So that, those riots are from the voice of the unheard, not these entitled privileged pieces of shit. I've kind of personally changed my stance on supporters of the president. And I'm starting to turn on whether or not I feel like these people are moral. And I have high doubts because there's no way that you can support this and have high character. The president is a putrid human being that only cares about himself. He doesn't give a fuck about you, no matter what your skin color is. And that's another reason why he was a one-term president. And like I said, I I have many gripes with the Democratic Party, but I'm glad this piece of shit is out of office. I'm glad come January 20th, he's out of office. I'd much rather deal with Joe Biden. I'd much rather have negative things to say or critiques about Joe Biden than this guy. So... Watch the company you keep, man. They may not consider you equal. Because understand, we're fighting for two different things. They claim they're fighting for democracy, but in reality, they're fighting over hurt feelings. While people that are really out here protesting and rioting are fighting for survival or fighting for um, just treatment when they're pulled over by the police. They're fighting for just treatment within the judicial system and within the prison systems. These are real things to be fighting about. Not your fucking hurt feelings. Get over it. You've lived for four years through Donald Trump. You can live another four to eight through Joe Biden and whoever the, else, whoever the fuck else becomes president. So definitely not like a uplifting episode, but a real one and one that I needed to get to you right away. So that's the Lab Talk episode 24. Please leave in the comments how you feel about all this shit. It's so crazy, but I really would love your take on it. Um, Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And more important than anything else, share this video. I appreciate you guys. Lab Talk, episode 24. Peace. Got a click full of shooters. Mm -hmm.